Hi, boys and girls. How are you doing today? So, we are going to talk about the parts of a plant. But there are certain things that each of the parts of the plant does, right? So now I think I've done this before already, so we're going to do it really quickly. And I'm going to tell you a story while we're doing it, all right? Because I know that that's more fun that way. So I've kind of sort of animated it by myself to help you understand it better. Shall we get started? Great. Okay, so here is our plant and our most beautiful plant. And in this plant, we have about, we have four different parts to this plant. Okay, can anybody tell me what this part of the plant is called? These little doodads down here? Anybody? Yeah, they are the roots. They roots. Does anybody tell me what the roots do? Some people say roots. Some people say roots. It just depends on where you're from. Most people say roots. So what does the what do the roots do? Who can tell me? They hold up the plant. A little bit, a little bit they hold up the plant, but they have a more, they have a harder function than that. They give food to the plant. Well, they don't give food to the plant. They give water to the plant. So our, our roots here, our roots suck up the water. <laughs> suck up the water. Inside each root is like a little tiny straw. You see my straw here? I see you. Can you see me? All right, it's a straw. This straw actually is an edible straw. So it means I can use it and eat it later. Okay, so this straw, you'll suck it up. It sucks up the water or whatever drink you put on it, right? So roots are like the same. They suck up the water, but in order to suck, suck up water, it has to rain or we have to water the plants. Drop, 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 drop. Here comes the rain, here comes the water, and now we're going to get to the roots and suck up the water. Okay, so the roots suck the water up. They suck it all up like a straw sucks up your soda or something when you go to um, any place to get your soda, right? Okay, so the roots suck up the water. Then where does it go? What's, what's this, this part called here? Where do you think it goes then? The stem? You're right. It's called a stem. But what does the stem do? What's the stem's job? Can anybody tell me what the stem's job is? It carries the water. Yes, you're right. Because from the roots, it goes into the stem, right? It carries some of the water so it can go towards the plant. But what else does it do? What, what do your bones and your body do for you? What do they do? Can you know you have to, you feel those bones inside there? What do they do for your body? They keep it from being a big blob, right? They hold you up. So a stem with the help of the roots, but the stem mainly is really strong because it holds the flower or the plant up, all right? So the stem holds up the plant and carries the water into the plant. Okay, then where do we go? What are, what are these things called here? These things. Right? They are called the leaves. Leaves. What's the leaves job? So here we're going to talk about the leaves. Okay, what are the leaves job? The leaves are happy. They make the, the plant smile. Yeah? No, what are the leaves for? 
They are there to capture the sun. They are there to catch the sun. There, here comes the sun. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Like a sun, like a sun. The sun comes and they catch the sun. That means when they like this, the leaves, because they seem, they like happy, you know, they're never like this unless they're sick. But like this, they're happy when the sun comes out because they're catching the sunlight. Like you catch a football or you catch, well, I guess you don't catch a football, but when you catch a, a softball or, or, or a frisbee, right? You, you're like, your hands are like the leaves that go up and they catch that, that, those things. So like the leaves, they catch the sun. And when the sun comes to the leaves and the water comes up, it starts making a process called photosynthesis which means that you're starting to make food for the sun, for the flower, sorry, for the plant, not just the flower. Okay, so then what, come ha what happens after the leaves capture the sun? What do you think happens now? It has to go to the flower, right? So what is the flower's job? The flower has two jobs also, two main jobs. Can you guess what they are? You don't know how to say it in English? It's okay. So basically the flowers provide food, like, like to animals, small animals usually. Sometimes flowers are eaten by animals, but the flowers provide a source of food for animals. So can I ask you, do you think, oh, do you think this animal can eat flowers? No. Do you think this animal can eat flowers? Maybe. Not usually, though. Okay, good. All right. What about hmm, this animal? Yeah, maybe a giraffe. If it's a high flower, you know, in the tree, he might go, mmm, flowers. Yeah, he might. He might like flowers. Oh, thank you, giraffe. Okay. All right. So the flowers are a source of food. But also inside the flowers, there's like a liquid. It's like it's like a sweet water. Not yet honey. It's like it's like more clear than honey, but sweet. Okay? And usually the animals that drink that nectar are these things here. <laughs> He'll sit on the flower and he'll, with his little straw in his mouth, which you don't see there, he will drink the flower water. It's called nectar. Okay? Then these yellow dots, these yellow like fuzzies or little dots that you will see on the bee, they will collect on his little feet here. Okay? And it'll start to fly up and fly up here. And when the bee jumps from his feet here, he's got all this little yellow stuff on him. Okay. When that bee, that was yummy, yum, yum, yum. He'll go to this flower and he'll go to the next flower and the next flower and the next flower and the next flower. And then this yellow stuff that comes from his body, it will drop onto the ground. And these are tiny seeds and they will make new flowers. So the purpose of the flower, the function of flower is to provide food and make more flowers. I think I want to stay for a while longer. Okay, so the bee, his job is to drink the, this flower water, which is nectar. And when he leaves the flower, he will make more flowers. So let's look at this again, boys and girls. We have the water comes down to the roots. The roots, like a straw, suck the water. 
Then it goes into the stem. The stem carries the water and holds up the plant. Then the leaves, they catch the sun. <sighs> All right. And then the bee, he comes. Zzz, whoops. Zzz, 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 zzz. He jumps on the flower, drinks the flower water, which is called nectar. And the little fuzzies that get on his body allow him to take those fuzzies to each flower and it drops on the ground and makes more flowers. Bye, bee. Bye, bye. Okay, so that's it, boys and girls. I hope you learned a lot about flowers this time. Maybe more than you learned about flowers before. What do you think? Okay, we'll see you later. Bye, love you. Bye.